Davis Media Access is an organization that uses technology and human ingenuity to help document our shared history. A nonprofit that helps other nonprofits, schools, local government, and ordinary citizens share information, build capacity, and foster transparency. This is Davis Media Access, or DMA. Above all, DMA is a community center, a hands-on learning lab, a place where people meet. What happens when you can no longer do the things you normally do? That's a question that every person and every institution had to answer this past year. In the best of times, non-commercial community media reflects the interest and needs of the communities it serves. And in the worst of times, such as a year bookended by rampant racism and political divisiveness and a global pandemic, it becomes a lifeline, a way to get things done when nothing else is doable, and most critically, a way to communicate important, locally relevant information. When we closed the doors to the Media Center on March 13th, 2020, like everyone else, we thought it would just be for a short while. We couldn't anticipate the flood of calls from other nonprofits needing help taking their signature events virtual. We didn't know we'd be called upon to document numerous local marches, protests, and vigils around racial justice. And we had no idea that we'd lack access to our studios as we confronted producing the largest local election season we'd ever encountered. What do you do when what you do every day is completely disrupted? How do you navigate a vibrant community that thrives on interaction, being cut off from each other? You adapt. DMA's staff, board, and committed volunteers worked hard to meet these challenges by rapidly learning new skills that allowed us to continue serving the community. Public affairs programmers learned how to produce radio from home, keeping fresh content on KDRT 95.7 FM. We produced a year-long weekly report on COVID-19 news and developments in Yolo County, interviewing community leaders, elected officials, teachers, students, artists, and nonprofit leaders from across the county. Our music DJs kept music alive at a time when venues were shuttered and musicians out of work. Our staff explored and mastered a variety of platforms that let us produce high quality programs remotely. COVID-19 challenged many organizations to produce once live events in a safe and remote manner. DMA provided a suite of services to help them move events online. Like our fellow nonprofits and community-based organizations, this year has challenged us on every possible front. Long hours on Zoom, coupled with budget worries, concern for our own health as well as that of our community took over at times. We're grateful to the City of Davis and the Davis Joint Unified School District for our long-term partnerships. We're grateful to our many volunteers and supporters for helping to create and sustain this organization in this most difficult of years. Unlike normal years, we don't have statistics about numbers of users and programs aired because this has not been a normal year. Over the past decade, the national media scene has driven home the importance of local, non-commercial, independent media. A handful of large corporations controls nearly all of the media in this country. The result is a homogenous perspective that sacrifices localism. In a time of separation and division, we're proud to say we've been a force for good in Yolo County and that we've built community in a time of crisis.